Okay, so it's um, Tuesday the 8th, March 8th, 36 degrees. Here's what the park looks like today. Nobody here except me and, of course, Angel. And the big topic on everybody's mind is what are gas prices out there in Port Huron Township? Well, the average price is $4.25, so it went up $0.35 cents in the last two days. I managed to get it at Sam's Club still for $3.89 with a long line and people not following directions, going against the arrows. I feel like going over and ask them if they're privileged because they won't stand or get in the line that they're supposed to get into. Angel's over there taking a dump. So who knows what it'll be tomorrow since we cut off uh, importing oil from Russia, which I'm all for. However, Listening, listening to um, the uh, press secretary and uh, Biden both saying that there's 4,000 permits to drill oil is a lie. There's 4,000 permits for exploration. And what that means is they've given them the ability to go out and check and see if there's oil there. Once they determine that, okay, this is a good site, we want to drill here, then you have to go back to the federal government and ask for a permit to drill. And that's where they're lying to you because they've halted all new permits to drill for oil. So to tell you that they have 4,000 open, they do. But they won't issue permits to drill, only for exploration. So the gas companies are getting highly upset at Biden. Then he lies and says we're producing more oil now than we did in our history, which is also wrong because under Trump, we were drilling and getting 1.5 million more barrels than what we are today because Biden stopped the pipeline and he stopped drilling on federal land. Again, the 4,000 open permits are for exploration only. Then you have to go back to the government and ask to drill and he won't let you do that. So it's a bunch of BS, it's a crock. They're lying to you. So they're only telling you the half truths. They're not telling you everything. So now that I'm over my political rant, Angel goes in for her beautification visit on Thursday. Her eyelashes are coming back. I got one of her uh, reports back on her history. Um, it doesn't affect her, but she's got a gene in her that could cause skeletal mutation if she was to have a litter. But she's not going to have a litter, so that really doesn't affect anything. Although it's an 18-page report um, and some big ass long name. So I'm still waiting on breed and... Uh, lineage the lineage uh, will probably take the most but so anyway like I said 36 degrees sun's coming back out um, no wind so it's okay actually saw a robin today which means spring we had snow last night but it uh 
that didn't really stick. There were some big flakes. Hey, Angel, come on. So Angel hasn't been to the park in a couple days, even though it's 4.30, figured I'd bring her out. There's another doggy off in the distance. So, we're staying upper 30s, mid 40s. Tomorrow's supposed to be 42 degrees. Uh, last time I looked, that was Saturday, we were going to be back down in the upper 20s for our high. And I have uh, more movies coming from my source out there in Hollywood. I think we've got 13, 14 Christian movies. Then I ordered McHale's Navy. The th three movies after that, I think they made, I think they said they made three. And then uh, Emergency, a series. And then I found out they made seven episodes after they. They shut the series down, and they're about two hours long a piece. And then after that, we'll see what we we can get. But another long one, not the longest, but it's getting there. It's seven minutes. So from Fort Gratiot, there's a squirrel. From Fort Gratiot, we bid you farewell. Here comes Angel charging through the woods. 